ICU is normally known for being very chaotic, very busy, lots of noises from alarms, phones ringing, um, lots of team members um, around bedsides. This has given us more space um, and more private areas to consult, um, to come up with a plan, come together as a team, um, and just communicate more effectively. In our uh, new facility, we have a space for the families that's sort of all their own. It's designated by different colored flooring. It's uh, right near the window. They can sleep there. Uh, they can join us for rounds uh, every day so that they can uh, interact with the care team and get directly from them what the plans are for the day. Well, because the parents are able to be at the bedsides more often, the nurses can glean any information uh, from the parents about the child that would help um, improve the environment or improve the care of the child because the parents are, most of the time know their kids and what works for them the best. The ICU design really helped us to enhance our team performance. Now we have two rooms which are designated a team center and a clinical integration center. For the first time we really were enabled to stay together as a team um, based on the build of team conference rooms, clinical integration centers. We're now being able to make a plan, um, implement the plan, and reevaluate the patient to make sure that everything is okay within an hour's time and not a four hour time increment. From the family perspective, one of the things that we have lacked is uh, areas to actually sit down and meet with families because we actually didn't have a lot of that space around. Now we have um, four consult rooms for families so that we can meet with the family very close to the place where their child is but maybe outside the room and sit down and go over prognostic issues, go over care issues, go over plans. We also have a family waiting room which uh, they can sleep in uh, and that room also has a shower, it has you know washer and dryer facilities, some of the things that we weren't able to do in terms of uh, you know luxuries uh, in the past. Because the families are in crises, they're here, their children are ill and that's not something that they should have to uh, think about when they come to the hospital. One of the other things that you have to think about when you're doing a project like this is where are you going to stick ancillary things, not just the patients, the monitors, the nurse, but where are you going to uh, put things that people need to work with. So we actually worked a lot with nursing to design all our carts so that the bedside carts that are right there, um, the nurses all design them and they have all the stuff that the nurses want in them right there at their bedside. Safety and surveillance were a huge priority in the design of the new unit. We were really concerned about making sure that although we increased the square footage of our unit, that we were also able to keep surveillance and safety as a focal point for our patients and for our health team members. For example, each care team member or nurse wears a locator badge, and when they're in the room, it turns a solid green. With that, I can look down a corridor and see if there's an area that's uncovered um, or there's a lack of surveillance from the staff. Another thing that has been very helpful, really, is uh, the wireless phone system that we have. The fact that I can call anybody and know that they're going to pick up the phone, know exactly who I'm going to talk to and get an answer without having to wait for pagers or telephone calls or extensions or any of that stuff uh, has really been uh, extremely helpful. I have a new appreciation for the unit. Um, it's very colorful. At the same time, it's very soothing to the eye. In designing the colors that we use on the wall and the colors on the floor, you know, there was a lot of thought put into that. The elevators are probably one of my favorite things. So we have these fancy elevators now that when you ride up and down the elevators, you know, the lights come on, they're neon lights, they're pretty cool. You look up above you and there's a, a night sky that's embedded uh, in the ceiling and that's uh, it's soothing, it's comforting, it's very pretty. In the rooms themselves, you know, and especially in some of the open four bed pa uh, pods, in the ceiling we have little um, uh, pictures, like we have pictures of flowers or pictures of balloons. It sort of brightens up the room, makes it a little bit more kid friendly for those kids that can appreciate it.
Everything is computerized in terms of uh, the safety aspects just of monitoring, for instance. The monitors go off in the rooms, the monitors go to these phones, that we have these wireless phones, so that if your child is alarming, for instance, for uh, a low heart rate or whatever, it goes to your phone and you know to go fix that. We have a pediatric ICU, we have a cardiac ICU that's staffed all by critical care, and we're all together. And before, we weren't able to be quite together because of logistic issues. And that's made it much easier to flex up and down. So for instance, today we had 12 admissions between our two units, and we were able to work together to shift patients around, like some of the you know cardiac ICU patients move into the pediatric ICU, some of the pediatric ICU patients move into the cardiac ICU, whatever it takes to flex beds. Our retention rate here for nursing uh, has uh, increased dramatically over the past year, and a lot of that, I think, has to do with the new environment. Um, it gave a new sense of pride to the staff um, and to the whole team to say that we are among the best, we are the best.